Welcome back to what I did in lab today where I tell you guys what I did in my biochem lab today. Today was a protein purification lab. So basically what was happening in this lab, we had a bunch of cells and we wanted to get the protein from them. So we were given a sample of a bacterial cells, they were E. coli, that had a specific protein cloned into them that we wanted to then extract. Basically what we did, we took our cell sample, we allowed it to thaw because it was stored frozen, and once it was thawed, we added a lysis buffer. The lysis buffer, kind of what it does is, lysis means to break apart, so basically it just kind of popped the cells. It got them ready to be broken apart. Then once the lysis buffer has sat in it for a little bit, we did a process called sonification. So the lysis buffer got the cells ready for lysis bursting, and the sonification is a process that uses sound waves at a very high fast frequency to burst cells open. So between the lysis buffer and the sonification, all of the E. coli cells were very well exploded, and all of their cell contents were released into the tube that could be collected and used for later. Now, while the cells were waiting in their lysis buffer and being burst, we had to prepare a resin solution. The resin solution is basically what helps purify and extract the proteins, so we prepared the resin, and then when the cells were done being lysed, we had to do a couple things with them. We had to centrifuge it for a while to collect all of these solid junk down at the bottom, the stuff we don't want, and then the proteins that we do want were soluble, so they were in the solution that was left over. So we extracted the liquid solution with the proteins and left all of the solid cell junk at the bottom to be discarded. After we were done centrifuging it, we transferred it over to this little funnel that contains the resin and let it filter out. This is what's called an affinity column. So the resin inside has a specific kind of compound in it that attaches specifically to the protein we want while allowing all the rest of the stuff to drain through. So the stuff that we don't want is in the liquid and the stuff that we do want is also, but as the liquid throws flows through the column, the stuff that we don't want just gets excreted out into that little beaker, and the stuff that we do want gets trapped within the resin. So we let this flow through until all of the junk that we don't want has been eluded from the resin, and the stuff that we do want is trapped. We added a couple of wash buffers to just make sure that all of the junk is gone, and then we added an elution buffer and let that flow through, and that's the stuff we want, the elution buffer, unbinds our target protein from the resin to allow it to be dripped out into a little tube where it can then be collected. Now this process did take a hot second, so we were all really bored, so my lab partner and I and the two people next to us in a different group ended up playing a game for a solid 30 minutes during lab. We ended up playing, it's called Gartic Phone, um, not sponsored, it's just really fun, it's basically a telephone drawing game, so you make a prompt, and then somebody has to draw it, and then you have to guess, and then you have to draw it. It's a whole thing. None of us are very good at drawing, except for my lab partner. The other three of us have no artistic ability whatsoever, so it was really funny. It's also in the other biochem lab, the one that I did last year, uh, it's Crime Scene Investigation Day. So, um, if you remember from my last year series of this, the Crime Scene Investigation, the other lab is doing that right now, so now it's decorated with caution tape and a dead body. So after everything has drained through and been extracted, we are left with purified proteins. The target protein that we want is now pure. It doesn't have any junk in it, ideally, if we did everything right. So we are left with our purified proteins, which we are then going to use next week in a different lab. We're going to run a gel with them. But overall, it was all good. And then we also did measure the absorbance to try to find the concentration of the protein. I haven't actually calculated the concentration, but we, we still measured the absorbance to be able to find it. Our spectrophotometer was working again, so that means we got to measure, measure the absorbance. And yeah, it did take kind of a while, but most of it was just sitting and waiting. 
but I will be back with the results and all the stuff from next week's lab with the gel that it ran on.